Thanks to the funding from the European Union, FAO promotes environmental sustainability in agriculture with the ACP MIAS 3 program. The program supports the government of Zimbabwe and smallholder farmers in four main areas. Policy development, research, highly hazardous pesticides and ecosystem-based practices through farmer field schools. The ACP MIAS project aims to support mainstreaming of biodiversity into agriculture in Zimbabwe and the sound use of pesticides. The government of Zimbabwe, through the Ministry of Agriculture, recognizes the importance of agrobiodiversity in terms of improving production and productivity. Climate change is Guru, Kudura Gwembeu, Kudura Gwe Ma Fertilizers. Anu Tikanga Nisa Aswa Kanyanya Ni Kuti Zimwe Nizi Nkwa Ati Nuru Tota Adza Kana Uti Tiri Imeswe Kuti Tiwa Nishikafu Chi Kuti Tiswa Kwanisa Kujika Gori Resi. Saka Nzara Ini Nge Chiswa Ramba Iri Mukati Imemba. Saka Papurima Kwa Tinoa Ita. Tinozo kwanisa kushandisa mishonga ye, tinozo kushandisa pa kufirita jirima jedu. Shakafana na ne mishonga ye chiyano. Yakafana na ne mukonde tri. Mukonde tri uyu tuno uomesa. To upisa, waita dota. Kanata waita dota, tinozo mixa dota ria munepsek. To spray ya chini, jirima jedu. Shaka tida shikari kutika na ukashanda ni simba. E, unu kwanisa kura rama, unu kwanisa kwenye savana kuchikoro. No one saw it as a social, no one saw to eat a semuno. A Zimbabwe. When we employ diverse methods that don't deal with synthetics, we are not affecting our health, but we are actually promoting the growth and retention of uh, biodiversity in terms of uh, the environment. <laughs> Kunyanya kana ukuja scouting munda mako. Shwembele ni mshu nogo na kushinyanya kushidi. Kutoshi parad. Asi maji denga kana razu. Na uzi climate change uzi ndozi. Eri kunyanya udozi utimeza. Asi susine ku FFS ruko zizi skwa kurima. Tishibata mvra. Ni ku chengete zaifredi. Quite a number of farmers have actually done away with, with pesticides, which are hazardous and they are very costly, you know. So this has been one major, I would say, product which we, we are really proud of. You know, the agriculture environment is so dynamic. It's an open factory, there's no roof. It's a farmer to techniques one of the biggest strategies that can be used to change a system is to actually look at the people that are implementing the extension, the education system in a, in a country. Now this is important because we generate information that uh, will help policymakers to mainstream biodiversity into these policies. The project is actually looking at the possibility of Zimbabwe coming with their own organic agriculture standards, which are managed and enforced by the government of Zimbabwe, so that uh, the organic produce are actually meant for the local people of Zimbabwe. This form of education, remember, it's got no cost except a piece of land in our time. Yes, and a little bit of resources, thanks to the European Union via FAO, Food and Agriculture Organization, we're getting quite some support there, as well as our own efforts. The two complemented, we are smiling. The ACP MIAS 3 program has helped to create a more sustainable and resilient environment that promotes sound pesticides practices while safeguarding the biodiversity of the region. 
One of its major achievements has been the contribution to develop the National Agrobiodiversity Policy Framework, which aims to mainstream biodiversity across the agricultural sector. About 180 farmers from nine FFS groups have participated in training sessions on the use of ecosystem-based practices, helping local farming families to have access to better living conditions and opportunities. For more information about the programme, please click on the link in the description.